What's up guys, it is currently week 11 of the Supreme Fall Winter 18 season. We have the full drop list to look at for week 11, as well as the Levi collab that's this week. But then we're missing is like the Stormy Daniels team, we don't have the image for that quite yet. Basically, we're going to look at the whole list on Supreme Community uh, from Lisa Grace, and basically I'm going to give you my opinions on them, and basically what I like, what I don't like, because this week is not looking really good. Fart, I'm sorry to say that, this week is looking pretty trash, but it happened. But I, I'm a, I don't even want to say there's a few pieces I like, there really isn't too much I like this week. Except for maybe that, that Stormy Down team, which we still don't have the image for, but other than that, let's just jump in straight into the drop list and let's just get this over with. Alright guys, so we're coming with Supreme Community right now. We're looking at the Vampire Beanie. Um, not much to say about this except for trash, the four colorways. Don't really want to talk about so much because the same way as the hoodies, the, the hoodies are trash, the beanie is trash. Moving on. So next we have the Claire Patch Camp Cap. Comes in six colorways, olive, red, navy blue, white, a yellow, and a black. Um, not a fan of camp cats, so downvote, downvote, downvote. I mean, I already, I already like, pre I already downvoted this before, but I'm gonna downvote again on camera for you guys. But like I said, not a fan of camp cats. Just moving on. Okay, next up we have the Hound Sleuth flannel zip up shirt. We're gonna downvote that because we're not a fan of this. Um, the flannel, not a fan of flannel zip ups. Not a fan of zip ups in general. Come the four colorways: a white, a red, and a, a blue, all with like this black pattern going all around them. I'm not a fan of like zip ups or or this to begin with anyways but um, it has like a supreme tag on the front left pocket uh, it has two pockets on both sides if you guys like that you can definitely go for it but for me the flannel is no a no-go next up we have uh, another downfall for me because I am not I'm, for, I'm I like the design on them but I'm not really a fan of the pants to begin with next up we have the bleach sweatpants it's a cotton fleece it comes in four colorways it comes with the black this green this blue and this pinkish red I, I think the design on them is dope, I just don't like there's no branding on them. If there's branding on them maybe, I would probably cop it because the bleach design on them I think is pretty cool. But the, about no branding, that's probably that's probably what the killer to me is, that it doesn't have branding. And a lot of you don't like, a lot of you out there probably saying right now, well it doesn't really matter if it has branding or not, if you like it, cop it. Oh, you, if, you, if you guys like it and it doesn't have branding, so you cop it. But for me, that's just my opinion on what I like and I don't like stuff without branding like that. But it is a dope pant to me, so if you want to pick it up for yourself with no branding, be my guest. 100% be my guest. Okay, next up we have the Performance Nylon 6 panel. It comes in six colorways. A black, a red, a, an olive, a navy, a white, and a purple. It has this like patch on the front. It looks like an S logo with like yellow at the bottom and a silver S and as well as a silver background. I'm, and then it has a standard shimmer in the back with a nylon, a nylon clip. Not a fan of this at all. Because I'm not a fan of uh, six panel hats. I'm not a fan of any Supreme hats really in general. Except when they had the Lacoste hats with I thought was absolutely fire. And which are doing like, absolutely amazing right now. And I have a couple but I wish I could get more. But the prices right now and them are kind of insane. Okay next up we have the Supreme Levi coveralls. It comes in a, a black. A, a, a denim. Well they're all denim but you know this. The, the standard denim colorway. And a pink. Okay so I don't know if these are going to be reversible. Because they're. Let me downvote it first, but I don't know if it's going to be reversible because there's, there's also a jack that goes with this, but the jack's reversible. I don't know if these are reversible. It has the same color scheme, so I'm guessing they might be reversible, but we'll see. I'm not a fan of cup rolls. Um, I'm not trying to be out there farming in the field, but if you guys like them, be my guest. Go get it. Don't let me persuade you. I just tell them what I like and don't like. Okay, next up we have the quilted studded leather jacket. Now, this jacket reminds me of the studded leather jacket they had uh, either a season or two seasons ago where it said Supreme on the back. Um, unfortunately for this one, it does not say Supreme on it at all, which I do not like. So basically to me, it's just a standard standard jacket with like studs around it. No one knows that you're rocking. Uh, but in the inside, it does say Supreme going around. But no one's really going to be looking inside your jacket when you're wearing this jacket. And if the price tag is looking at what? $700 estimated. So I'm just going to be playing a premium price because it's leather. So if you won't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't spend $700 for a non-branded non jacket. If you guys are going to like... There could be so much more you can do with seven dollars for jacket. Not wasting on this. Okay, next up we have this two-tone zip-up jacket. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give this uh, a upvote for one reason because I think the jacket is sick. But this colorway is trash. I'm thinking if there's other colorways, it could be fire because I love the design on the hood with the two tones, and I love the design on the sleeve that's a two-tone. I just don't like this colorway per se. I'm hoping it comes in more colorways because depending on what colorways they have in the jacket, it could be a fire piece. This is like my probably like one of my this is probably like my seventh, second favorite second favorite piece that I dropped in this week. I'm sorry. Oh, let me take a gotta take a water break because I'm a little done. This is like my third second time recording this. The first time 
I forgot I was in screen recording, so I literally just stopped and did it again, and I've been talking straight for like 30 minutes. But, so I had to take a water break. Okay, next up we have the Pike shirt, the Penny shirt. It comes in six colors, a yellow, army fatigue, a black, a natural, a pink, and a navy. It says Supreme on the pocket. Well, not the pocket, but the front left. Um, this shirt might do good. Um, I'm gonna upload it, because it might do good. That natural colorway might kill, and the armor fatigue colorway might kill, because that colorway, that colorway tends to do good on most Supreme items. It comes out in, you know, that pattern, so I don't see why it would stop right now. But anyways, next up we have the Supreme Levi Quilted Reversible Trucker Jacket. And this is basically what I was talking about, where it comes reversible. Now we have those three colorways, the black, the denim, the and the, like, AKA sorority pink, green go thing going on up here. Um, so yeah, so you might see some security girls pull up and try to like steal this colorway from you. So this colorway might be a low-key sleeper. I'm just saying. I don't know if these security girls will be wearing this jacket, but if they are, they this is something I see. I can see them just grabbing because that's their colors and they love their colors. But yeah, I think the black is hella sick, um, and I think the denim, regular denim one's hella sick as well. I don't think I'm gonna cop it because I don't think I have money waste on this. But that's a, that's a shame because this is pretty a dope piece. This is a pretty dope jacket. I'm not. I'm gonna give an upload because I I like the two colorways. I just don't like that that pink one. I know a lot of people are probably gonna hate this piece because it's something different, but I kind of enjoy it. Okay, so next up we have the warm up pant nylon tassel. So um, it comes in what eight colorways: the purple, black, green, natural, navy, red, blue, and like a like a brown typeish thing. Anyways, it has supreme going up on each leg at the ankle. I, I love that. I love that it has that going on each ankle. Unfortunately, I don't like the material on the pants. So this is like the pants that when you walk in, it goes swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. I can't do it. I can't do that. I, I, I haven't worn pants like that since like freaking like elementary school. I hate sweatpants like that. So I'm definitely a no for me on that one. Okay, so next up we have this 18 and Stormy T. Now this is to me is going to be a low key killer piece of the week. If you're gonna go for one thing this week, 100% go for this tee. I think this tee is gonna do tremendously well. This is like gonna be like the killer tee of this week. So if you guys need to go for something, you wanna go for resell, just trust me and go for this tee because this tee is, is definitely gonna do really good. It's gonna cost $48 because it is a charity tee. If it wasn't charity, it would only be like $32, but since it's a charity tee, they're making to make it $48, so be prepared for that. But the resell on it should be not too bad. You should make like at least double, your, double what you paid for it. Okay, so next up we have the bleached zip up sweatshirt. I'm gonna give this a thumbs down, but I like it though. I'm giving it a thumbs down because I just, I don't, I love the colors on it. Absolutely love the colors on it. Like I said, the bleach, um, the bleach is amazing. I love, I just wish they, I wish they did it on like a non zip up, but it's whatever. And it's basically a cotton fleece with a, I like the, the plaid flannel lining. I love the plaid flannel lining inside of it. I think it's pretty dope. But I just don't like that it zip up. I wish that it was like just a pullover or or maybe the colorways were different. Cause I definitely need I definitely need down to get a zip up. It's just that I want a zip up I could rock with everything. So if I'm gonna wear a zip up, I have to be rockable with like crazy colors. I mean the black, the black is not too bad for that. I'm I'm just saying I if I was gonna get anything this color, I'd probably get like the red or the green, cause it's hella those colors can look hella sick. But the thing about that is I would want I would want to rock those colors not as a pull up I would rock I'm not as a zip up I would rock them as a pullover because I think those would be so good as pullovers I'm just sad that they end up going with zip up for this sweatshirt I think a pullover would have been done so much better okay so next up we have the classic script beanie now this beanie has been supposed to be dropping like almost like for the last two weeks and hopefully it's finally dropped we have ten colors here though we have this like a, a brown tannish we have this black purple green we have the white the red the navy the orange the light blue and then the heather gray and the white and the heather gray are the only ones are right uh with black script writing all the others have white and I, i'm definitely liking this piece so this is a thumbs up i most likely don't know what colorway i'm going for in it but i will definitely be getting one of these beanies because like i told you this has been going to drop for like the last two weeks and i've been waiting for it to drop for the last two weeks <laughs> so now it's finally gonna drop this is obviously gonna be a must have for me and it comes in 10 colorways so I actually you're gonna have tons of time to come back and get this hoodie. I mean, come back and get this beanie in any colorway you want. Because I obviously it's 10 colorways. I wouldn't buy it by itself though. If you're gonna buy it online, I would not buy it by itself because you're gonna have to pay like eight to ten dollars shipping. So I wouldn't buy it by itself. I would wait and go in the store and just cop it in the store because obviously it's gonna be easy pick up in store. Maybe like one color might be sold out. Because obviously it's gonna be one hype color from the pattern that everyone wants and it's gonna sell out. But for the most part, they're gonna have all the colors. 
Okay, so now we have the long sleeve pocket tee, which it will be going for a premium price because it has a pocket, which makes no sense to me. You put a pocket on one of these shirts and it all of a sudden it becomes a premium tee. So yeah, it has like, what, 10 colorways as well, the black, the red, this fatigue powder, and there's navy, this green, this purple, heather gray, natural, light, like this lime green, and this weird, uh, weird tan brown colorway as usual. I obviously we know what colorway is gonna do good. Maybe not, uh, maybe the natural, but definitely the, the arm fatigue one, whatever you wanna call it. Like I said, those colorways always do good no matter what. So I don't see any reason why it would do bad, like I said earlier, in the in the other shirt. So I think it's going to do good. It might sell out pretty quick. I know they always do when they have the pink one, when they have the, the gray one. Was it the gray one? I don't know. Let's just move on because, like I said, this, this is going to do good no matter what. Well, don't hold me to that because, you know, Supreme does some crazy stuff sometimes. But so far, I've never seen one of those patterns do bad. Okay, next up we have the panel hooded sweatshirt. It comes in five colorways. A black, which is really dull because you don't see the real pattern on this. A purple, a navy, a natural, and a red. I definitely love the natural, the two-tone of the natural, which is like a natural to like a tan type colorway. And I also like the purple to like this like green teal colorway. I think those two are extremely like amazing colorways. The rest are just like blah, especially the black. Black is too plain. I don't think black is going to do anything. But yeah, this natural colorway is definitely a, a low-key hitter to me. And it might do amazing. It might not, but... I think I'm thumbs up it because uh, thumbs up it because I like it. Okay, next up we have the Supreme Honor Melodo Melodica. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know if this is like a marca. Says something about a blow piece or a mouthpiece extension. I have no idea what this is. Uh, I'm gonna just download it because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Will I be copying it? Maybe <laughs> if it's if it's doing good. I don't know. It's, I don't fuck it is. I don't know. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> Okay, so next up we have the Supreme Quake Quake Quaico All Sport Ballpoint Pen. Now this has come out already in red, and the pencil version has come out already early in the season. And I'm gonna give this a down vote because I don't think this is gonna do good at all. Like I don't, the other ones didn't do good at all. They they started out and then the price is out. You know how the accessory goes. Starts out sort of sort of has a resell and then it just goes down like hella quickly. And I think this one is gonna go down hella. You know, it's just gonna go down, down, down. So if you're going to buy this resale, you need to get rid of it ASAP. And if you buy it for personal, then you're fine. If you want a Supreme Pen to go with class and you start stunting, like, yo, I'm writing Supreme Pen, da 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 Do your thing, baby. I, but I would go for the red one, because the red one is just too loud. I would go for the black. Do yourself a favor, cop the red pen to stunt and the black pen, let that let it sit. Because that's going to be in stores. You can be able to go and get that, like, well into the evening time. So don't... Don't rush it if you're not too sure. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for week 11. I think this week is really bad. I'm guessing, I'm, I was expecting this because I know next week is gonna be a banger or is it gonna, or is, is it the week after next week? Whichever week the CDG sneakers drop, that week is gonna be a banger and I can't wait for that. I need to get at least four or five pairs of those because those are fire. Um, I don't know what's it gonna have, the black ones, the white ones, I don't know. I just know that week is gonna be fire. So everyone be ready for that, because that week is a banger. Also, I can't wait for the Palace Ralph Lauren collab, but that's a, that's talk for another video I might do tomorrow. So definitely let me know down in the comments what piece from this week you actually liked, or do you think this week is trash as well, or you think this week is low-key fire to your high-key fire, whatever you want to say that. And definitely hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video, as well as hitting that subscribe button, because you're about to hit 5K, and then we can do the 5K giveaway right for you guys. Um, I already told you guys what the prizes are going to be so far. Let me see. I told you that this is going to be third place. This is going to be second place. And then the first place is still to be determined. But yeah, that's it for so far. I'm guessing my next video I do, I'll be at 5K because I'm like at 49.60 right now. Something crazy like that. So just a couple more. I'm most, I'm most likely to hit that tonight. So yeah, so definitely give me a congrats if you see that I hit 5k in the comment section when I post, if I post this video by then, or oh, by the time you watch it. But yeah, other than that, don't let them haters keep you down. Stay positive. It's easy to hate, hard to love. Peace.